All right, so the story for Lollipop Chainsaw follows Juliet Starling, who is an 18-year-old high school cheerleader who actually just turned 18 right in the beginning of this game. It's actually her birthday. And right in the beginning, she's actually going to go meet up with her boyfriend named Nick, who is a jock. And while on her way, she notices something a little strange. There's zombies everywhere. The living dead just come out of nowhere and, of course, do their zombie things. They start eating people, whatever. And the thing that many people don't know, especially Nick, about Juliet is that she is not just a cheerleader. She is a zombie hunter who uses a big ass chainsaw to execute zombies and of course she does it with style. But sadly when she gets there Nick has been bitten by a zombie and of course he will turn into a zombie soon so what she decides to do is she uses black magic and cuts his head off and puts on this like cylinder shaped mystical magical thing and now he's alive except he's only a head. Soon after, Juliet and Nick find out who actually is behind all of this, and it's a guy named Swan, who is like this goth emo guy who rose the dead just so he could perform a prophecy, and it's pretty much because he's been neglected and he's a goth guy, so he wants to go and pretty much rule the world, and he resurrects all these people, and of course, now Juliet has to go out and kill all these people and stop Swan before he pretty much accomplishes his task. Now I have to say this, if you go into this game with the right frame of mind, then you're going to have a freaking fun time with the story. First of all, the characters are so likable. Julia is very bubbly, very like sweet and nice. I mean, sure, she's a little dim-witted, but she's really, really likable. Uh, Nick, the boyfriend, is actually very funny, he has all these comebacks, and he's pretty much the normal guy during this entire game. So he's pretty much you, like, watching all this stuff happen and reacting, and he's very funny. And also later on in the game, you meet Juliet's family, and they're all cool and nutty characters too and the writing here is just so funny just the combination of James Gunn who also did Slither and Super 2 movies I really love and Suda 51 the combination of those two geniuses together make this story a lot of fun to listen to so overall I'm gonna say this the story is fantastic in here if you know what you're getting yourself into let's go on to the sound now let's talk about the sound. Voice acting wise, this game is phenomenal. I mean, you have Tara Strong who plays Juliet who does an amazing job here. She's so much fun to listen to. And you also have Michael Rosenbaum in this game who plays Nick, the decapitated head boyfriend. And he does a hilarious job here. He's so funny, so charismatic. He has so many great comebacks. He's really, really good in this game. The rest of the voice cast is also fantastic as well. You have people like Greg Henry who plays Juliet's father and Michael Rooker who plays one of the main bad guys in the game. And every Everybody else just does an absolutely fantastic job. And also, besides the voice acting, the soundtrack here is really, really good. It's filled with pop music and some really fun little classics from back in the day. And it's really, really fun to listen to. It comes in at the right moments, and it's just it just matches the environment and the game so well. Zany, wacky, very fun. I love the soundtrack in the game. But the sound design, I have to admit here, does get a little repetitive while the uh, chainsaw swipes and stuff. There's not many different sounds in the game, but for the most part, the sound here is fantastic. So I'm not even going to complain much about the sound design because the soundtrack and voice acting are fantastic. So let's go on to the graphics. Now, the graphics in Lollipop Chainsaw go for a cell shaded look, just like many other games that came out this year. And to be honest, it definitely works here. The characters look very, very vibrant, very nice looking. Uh, it has a very realistic look to them, unless you get up close to the characters, then you can tell it's very cell shaded looking. All the enemies on screen at once look really nice, and the animations are good for them and the main characters as well. And the environments, while not fantastic looking have a nice variety to them like sometimes you go to a psychedelic zone or something where you'll see weird things or you go to an arcade zone or sometimes you go to a farm or stuff it's very it has a lot of variety I would say so to be honest I actually like the environments too so overall I would say the graphics here are more of a hit than a miss I mean sure environmentally wise you could see some of the textures and it doesn't look all that amazing but I would still say the graphics here are good and let's go on to the gameplay now the gameplay for Lollipop Chainsaw, even though you play as a cheerleader who kills zombies with a chainsaw, I wouldn't say it's the most unique thing out there. But let me tell you, I would be lying if I said it wasn't fun because this game is a hell of a good time. I mean, it is hack and slash gameplay. You use the Y button to use your chainsaw, A button to low attack with your chainsaw, and X to use pom-poms, which will actually stun all the enemies on screen if you attack them. And while you're killing zombies, you also acquire these medals that come out shooting from their bodies. And you collect these medals, and guess what you do with them? You do what any other 18-year-old cheerleader would love to do? You go shopping! 
But unlike most girls, Julia is here for action and action only, and she wants to upgrade her skills and give herself new combos, and that's what you do with these medals that you get. You actually go and unlock new combos, unlock more health, or unlock more strength and stuff. So the combat itself is just so much fun to perform. It's very addictive too, just collecting all the medals from zombies, making sure you didn't miss anything, kill every zombie, and just get all the medals so you can unlock more combinations, use those against zombies, and of course upgrade your character so she will become more and more of a badass zombie hunter. And sure, it could get repetitive here and there, but the thing is, the gameplay adds so much variety that it really doesn't. Right when you think it's starting to get a little repetitive, they'll switch it up a little bit and then boom, you're playing a little arcadey minigame. Or boom, you're on a tractor and you're trying to run over zombies on a tractor. And it just keeps adding different things throughout the entire game. And also, the story is just so much fun, you don't really want to stop playing. It's just so much fun. So if you're coming into this game expecting just a mindless beat em up hack and slash game with a little bit of variety here and there and a very very funny well told script then guess what you're getting it here because Lollipop Chainsaw is a lot of fun and should definitely be played by everybody. And yes the game is very very short but I would say this game is worth the 40 or 50 bucks that it's going for right now on Amazon only because a game doesn't need to be really really long as long as it's very memorable very fun while it's there and this game is definitely that so I I would actually say it is worth a purchase if you're looking for a very fun beat em up type game with a hilarious story just go and play this game grasshopper you did a great job once again and james gunn and suda 51 you guys are great together so do more stuff so anyway there you go there's my review i hope you enjoyed it thank you and goodbye what's your favorite color nick blue no green awesome i love learning about you i fucked up it's yellow also, remember to follow me on Twitter and like my Gore the Movie God Facebook fan page. Links in the description. Thank you for watching this video and goodbye.